unleashed the Bush family on America. And I knew what he meant. Um, his son, George W. Bush, uh, is uh, a, a general partner in the Texas uh, Rangers baseball team. He also, though, owns Harkin Energy uh, Corporation uh, in Dallas, uh, which had $8 million in revenue in 19... Merged then with... Uh, it was a small company. It merged with his Spectrum 7 Exploration Corporation, and he took over Harkin. And just in a short period of time, he moved to Dallas went on as a consultant to the CEO at $120,000 a year, and by 1990, uh, four years later, they had a $1.1 billion revenue, uh, 19 states, they had oil and gas reserves, and right now this, this firm has the exclusive oil concession to the island of Bahrain for all exploration and transport and purchase of oil or gas uh, out of Bahrain, which accounts for one-sixth of the uh, total reserves in that area. Uh, so Bush's son has a little bit of financial interest in what happens in Kuwait, um, since Bahrain's an island right off the shore there. Uh, his son Jeb Bush had extensive ties with the Miami drug dealers, uh, the inventor of the cigarette boats and the Contra operations. And his son Neil Bush, who I mentioned earlier in connection with Standard Oil um, and the Hinckley ties, uh, also played a strange role, according to Rolling Stone magazine, after Siaga was put into power by the CIA in Jamaica. Um, it, this was, this was, uh, it was Siaga men, uh, his goons, that came to a concert of uh, reggae and political rock star Bob Marley and shot at Marley and wounded him. And Marley went up into a mountain retreat there in Jamaica uh, and was nursing his wounds and uh, trying to recover from this situation. And someone showed up at the door from Rolling Stone magazine, a reporter who wanted to write about the incident, spent several days there. And then right after that, uh, Marley uh, took flight to Europe and checked in at uh, hospitals there and was found to have a massive brain tumor, cancerous brain tumor, which killed him in a short period of time. Um, Cancers of this sort have been and can be introduced uh, from outside and artificially. It happened in many cases, including Martha Mitchell and Jack Ruby, different melanomas. These were things that the Nazis studied and Fort Detrick studied for many years, and it came to light in a Rolling Stone magazine article. It just, or I guess, uh, didn't know what was happening, that uh, the person who had impersonated one of their reporters, in fact, didn't work for them, and was Neil Bush. Now, what's Neil Bush doing with Bob Marley at his house a few days before he dies of a massive brain tumor? Uh, I guess uh, we're supposed to believe he's got uh, an extensive interest in reggae music.